We have started training yesterday and um, the boys responded well. Of course, they're still uh, coming out from where we were with the Absa Premier League. Um, but um, yeah, even today they look they look okay. Um, I'm happy with what I saw. We just have those uh, niggling injuries. Uh, obviously, it's normal when you just when you come from a battle, you come with wounded soldiers and uh, deep scars. So. Yeah, we rested a few guys who are not yet back from injury. Um, Serena's got a niggling injury. We don't know if he'll make it. Um, Shompa, we just rested him because, I mean, this guy has played so many, all the minutes uh, in the bubble. Dennis is training well, so hopefully he's okay. Musa has not st started training. Um, probably tomorrow, we never know. Yeah, and um, yeah, just minor knocks, you know, when you come from the game, but uh, nothing big, bigger than that. Oh, Ricardo has got a hand, a wrist that also giving him a problem, that's why he's been playing with a wristband. But um, I don't know, we, we should be okay on, 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 on that side, but um. Yeah, a difficult game, of course. You know, uh, Masopolara are a diff different team, difficult team. Those guys are enjoying themselves. They are happy, happy team, free spirited, and and they play good football. They pass well. I just saw the game last night. One of the games they played, oh, they just can just pass the ball. They played against Bitvet West, to be honest. Yeah, oh, they can pass the ball. So, yeah, it is that team that. Uh, have got nothing to lose, but they uh, give everything. That's how I see the game. Uh, thank you, Coach. Mm -hmm. I'll take questions now, but just uh, raise your hand uh, and then I'll identify you and unmute you. Zakele? Zakele? Coach, how are you? Hi, Zakele. Uh, I'm good coach. I was actually from me, so there's an interview. Coach, uh, now you, um, you, you've just won the league um, for the 10th time for my manager Sundowns. Now you're going for the treble. Is that on your mind? Is that what you, you're gunning for? And how is the mood in the camp? And the second one, Celt no matter what happens on, on, on Saturday, Celtic are, are going to be playing in Africa. What, what can be your advice to them as the, as the newcomers in, the, in that space? Yeah, uh, uh, um, what was the first one? The treble, the treble. Oh yeah, the treble. Yeah, but the treble is not there until it's the until you win the match, you know. So uh, first we had one cup. Second, the, the the league was not on our side. It's never been in our hands. Only for those, I don't know, twenty minutes or so. And 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 it, and then we managed to win the league. But the worst thing is to to think that you've won the trouble without playing it. And everybody has a right to win the, the cup, the Nedbank Cup. And uh, I think you know the history between my Lady Sundowns and, and the cup and, 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 and Bloomfield and Celtic in the cup. Um, the history reference is not good for us, doesn't favor us as my Lady Sundowns. But you never know those were years back. And um uh, coach Maduga, Maduga was not the coach, neither me, but the, uh, the common denominators of the clubs. But um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I think if you look at it, um, you can say they need it more than us in terms of uh, uh, um, but football doesn't go like that. Football says whoever wants it now on the pitch will get the game, whoever wants it on the pitch. So, yeah, there are tactics that need to be played. They play different. Uh, they, they came with different formation in the bubble. I was surprised with the formation that they played in the bubble. But, uh, yeah, they won. They've been winning. Uh, they're one of the contributors to, to us acquiring uh, 
the league title because they stole Kansas Chiefs, a big team, you know. So if they can stole that that team, it means they can stole us. So yeah, that's it. So what can I say, guys? It's it's a cup final. A cup final is a cup final. We waiting for it. And um, what was your second question? Sorry. Their their advice since they are going to 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 Africa for the first time. Oh yes, yes. I, I did put a post. I don't know three weeks back or two weeks back on my Twitter about this situation, and I said how exciting would it be to have uh, Dr. Petro, uh, Petros Malimela Stadium full and buzzing with supporters in and 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 how how exciting would it be to to have the opponents from from Africa to come into that stadium, that noisy stadium. I said I would love, I would, if, if possible, I would love to be part of that and, and witness the history of, of Bloemfontein Celtic. I think it will be the history. Um, they will make history. And I said that um, I would have liked to witness that. And I, I said, um, you never know that that can happen if we win the league. And it is the way you just said it now. So yeah, it's not nice. It, it, it will be difficult for people to go to to that stadium. I hope um, by the time we play, um, football will be normal and everybody and supporters will be back. How nice will it be? Sorry, how nice will it be now to have um, to could have had uh, the supporters of Mamelodi Sundowns? You know they're noisy with their drums, and then you have the Masopolara with the famous Masopolara supporters who sing at the top of their voices. Would have been nice. Would have been what an environment that we, we're going to miss. But you have to accept the situation. Uh, Carabo? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, good afternoon, Coach. How are you? Afternoon, Carabo. Uh, Coach, just two quick ones. Uh, I'm not sure. I think you gave a good up, uh, an update in terms of the players, but uh, Andy Lejal was not there. Has he left the bubble? I think he uh, pulled with a hamstring injury a couple of uh, weeks ago. And uh, secondly, Coach, you've always advocated for black players, uh, for black coaches rather, black coaches in the PSL. A couple of hours ago, Amazu will have confirmed that uh, uh, Cobra Tamini will be the new head coach or you know, given the role on a permanent basis. Just your thoughts on yet another black coach uh, making it in South African football. How big an issue or how proud are you of him, coach? You mean the coach of Bloom Celtic? No, no, the coach of Amazul. He's been given a three year contract. Oh, yeah. Tamini, no, uh, Ayanda, yes. Ayanda was here with me in the bubble. We Unfortunately, we were talking through the masks, you know. Um, Happy, so happy for him to save the team. So happy for him to turn it around. Um, yeah, unbelievable. We need more. Uh, you know, me with local is like We need more of our local coaches. I think we have enough talent and uh, ammunition to 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 can steer these teams to the, in the right direction. Yeah, I'm happy for 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 Ayanda. It's big ups to Amazulu to to bring one of ours in in in. Uh, in, in that space. And AJ is, was training today. Yes, he's been suffering from that hamstring. He trained yesterday, he trained today. Yeah, but the game and the training sessions uh, intensity is not the same, but uh, it's getting better. I don't know. We'll hear from the doctors, but he's been training for the last two days. So he has never left the bubble. Okay, we move on to the next one, Chad. Thanks. Mr. Lux, I uh, um, uh, hope you're well. Um, just, uh, ahead of this, you know, there's, there's been a lot of reports, obviously, uh, around Nona specifically. Uh, it, could this be his last game this weekend? Uh, is there any uh, sort of discussions going on around the, the fact that he was announced by another club in Belgium? And then secondly, also on, on the reports, uh, a lot of signings coming in uh, ahead of next season. Uh, is there going to be an overhaul after this game? No, um, first with Anele, I, I, I think you know my my heart and uh, uh, my feelings about Anele. You know, one of the most underrated right back in the country. Anele can play against a speedy winger, uh, strong winger, anything. Anele has the sense of of of, of positioning himself and uh, 
Uh, he doesn't even make a lot of tackles, if you can see. He's experienced, man. I mean, the guy played Champions League in Europe. The guys won many titles in Europe and Cups. Um, and I always root for him because he's one of the most uh, underrated and he doesn't get the, the um, what can I say, the praise he deserves, you know? He's, he, I mean, he, since Tapelo got injured, we, we have been stable. And he helps uh, helps us in organizing. He's a captain of the team, behind the captain Kampokekana. He's always chatting, advising the youngsters, coaching in the back. Uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be we'll be set to lose him, to be honest. But I don't know what's happening because we're in the bubble between the the club and his agents. And yeah, for me, oh, I would not like to lose him. I'll be very happy to have. Uh, and let to stay, but I have to also accept if he has to go, if he wants to go, uh, we have to accept uh, the situation with Anele. Um, Chad, I think we give, oh, we also deserve a chance to sign a few players now. Uh, everybody's been signing and give us a chance, Chad, let's sign also, you know. Uh, we only signed two last year and uh, the myth and uh, the perception is that we've been we're signing a lot of players and we've been buying without acknowledging um, the, the promises, Makuma, the, the um, Pizzo, what do you call it, uh, 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 without um, Kulisi, Nico Kubeni, Abram, you know, we have put these MDC players on the pitch and, and we've put them also in the starting lineup on the biggest games. So we don't sign because we have to sign, as I told you. Uh, and there's not an overall because you must be very careful. The guys who've been winning the titles, the guys who won the league, are the uh, majority of them are most are the senior players, important players. So we are not rattling, rocking the boat here. And uh, all we're doing is that we haven't signed enough for a few years. And when we had uh, injuries this year, we struggled a little bit, you know, but... Um, yeah, it's also important to to build um, a team also uh, um, under a successful team. We have a very, very good successful team. Look at the history, 10th titles, guys. I mean, this is, this is huge. Three in a row, five in the last seven years. Champions League finals, Champions League semi-finals, Champions League quarter final, Club World Cup team that has been putting more than uh, more than 50 games a year with traveling and all that we've got to consider all those things that have been happening for many years for the, for the last three four five years I mean seven years qualification in Champions League I mean that's huge guys uh, you got to understand that the mileage is getting higher higher uh, but those players we need them to teach the younger ones who are coming we need them to, to 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 guide them, so there's not overall. Uh, we have to also accept that uh, uh, um, the the age bracket, uh, average age group, is it was not very very good and convincing because a lot of players are, are more 30, 30, 30 plus. So we have to. It's normal, like any other club. We have to try and uh, support the main team, the big team. That's you think that uh, probably the trouble now, you know. So we have to uh, support it. Uh, Mazola, and then Nick. Hi, coach. I hope you can hear me clearly. Um, can hear you, Mazola. Um, coach, I was following up on Chad's question as well. Just obviously, I think it was maybe even more than a year ago that you talked about the succession plan because you were already looking at the, the age yeah. of the players yeah. that you have in your squad. Uh, of course, this past season, I mean, you only really signed, you signed two players and, and one that obviously went on loan to Stellenbosch. Yes. But how important was it for you to get the backing also from the club and the hard work behind identifying the, these relatively young players that are going to come in and you know, set up a, a 
plan for another successful couple of seasons for Mamelodi Sundowns? No, uh, thanks, Mazora. Um, obviously, I have the vision of the club given to me from the board and uh, uh, the, chair, uh, the chairman of the board, Dr. Petrus Mutsepe, who is the president of the club. Uh, um, and I drive the vision, of course, that's my job. And, and I need to, to, to advise the team on what's happening, what has been happening for the last seven or eight years. And you can see there's a synergy and you can see that there's, there's good agreements. You can see that there's, there's um, good vision of, of, of always trying to make sure that we replace players. And by the way, and it's not about the age uh, it, it has been about, you know, the Pellas when they left, the Ezroms when they left, the, the Palembas when they left, the Tecos when they left, the Alia Scud who left, all those big important players, surprise Muriri. We have always have to have the succession plan and uh, all the time huffing and puffing, stum stumbling, not really coming out easily after replacing uh, uh, important players. We have moved from generations to generations, and we have now moved from the generation of, of the CBDs, the Zungus, the Raman Pashele, we cannot mention them, Tabo and Tete, so many important players, you know. So my job is to make sure that uh, we replace those players whilst the team doesn't the level of uh, of expectation doesn't come down, and that has been the biggest part of 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 our, of our technical team, to make sure that happens, you know, uh, and 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 for me is is more that is more important and key, more than just going and acquiring players and bring them here, is replacing the right players, you know, so now we've got a, <clears throat> a generation of the Mkulisis, the Kelezos. Um, the Serenos with Tempas One is still around and Villa Gazi. So it's it's another generation with now uh, from um, with Lef, Le, uh, Musa Lebusas coming in, Lyle creeping in slowly at left back, uh, Nico coming in, Tapelo coming in. So yeah, we're getting there slowly and 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 and, and it's not easy. The difficult part is to whilst you are replacing the important players to keep winning. That's the difficult part. It's not an easy one. And you, when you lose a CBD, I mean, that, that team scored 71, made, uh, I think, 55 goals or 53 goals. Uh, out of 30 games, I think they won 23 games. That's, that's huge. Uh, 71 points, I think three losses. It's unbelievable. What a, what a team that won the Champions League and and did, uh, uh, okay, it's not a tribal local because it had the Champions League, but it was a tribal of, of the Champions League and, and the Telecom Cup and the league at that time. And to add a chair on top of it, the, the Kev Super Cup and Club World Cup, what an amazing team we had. What a team. So to get there again, it's like you're talking about the Galacticos of Real Madrid. It's like you're talking about the Barca of of, of the uh, David Silva and 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 and, and um, Iniesta, Xavi, Messi, Busquets, what a team! So you don't have that team anymore, you know. Um, generations, teams move on, and we have to 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 always move up and try and and bring it up. Probably this year we can. The team that we're trying to make now for me is. I wonder. I think this one maybe might be more effective and not less glamorous as 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 this one. You know, this one can pass the ball sometimes if they want. I mean, they. I think we all played Black Lepers and and Pulukwane City. It's unbelievable when we came up after we've been struggling one day. Then I got my team back and I got it late as slow starters, slow starters. But against Black Leopards, it's an unbelievable game. I've never, to be honest, this year I've never seen a team play or a team play as good as the game of Black Leopards. Four balls off the posts, missed penalties, missed chances, 
dominated possession, penetration, shots on targets. I mean, I, I've never seen a game like this. So hopefully we move up from that from that performance. I'm just hoping that we don't lose any players who played in that game and 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 and, and move to this one. But uh, yeah, you, you, our job is to make sure that we improve the team. Nick, um, coach. You talk about, I'm sure you've got your mind very much focused on Saturday, but, and you're, te- you're talking there about improving the team and moving forward. What does your program look like after Saturday? Obviously, we've got the start of the new season. Are you taking a break at all? Or is it a chance now to, with new players coming in, just to keep the ball rolling and, and keep going and training? You know, uh, Nick, we, we're the first team to enter the bubble. Uh, 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 Lux will tell you. And, and we are the last team to leave the bubble. That really shows the commitment of this club and uh, and the players. And no one is complaining. We keep going. You know, a lot of commitment on 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 the team. Um, and they deserve a break. We must know that before this bubble, we were in a month bubble also in in, in Rustenburg. And 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 that bubble contributed to where we are now. You know, what's worth it? Imagine. You didn't win nothing and you went into the bubble for a month before. But it's not only us. Orlando Pirates also went for a bubble for, for a month also, you know. And, um, yeah, we, they need the rest. We need to see our families. I haven't seen my children for, it's going to third month now. I haven't seen them. And if I'm, I think I, have to, I haven't seen my, my children, what about the players, you know. Uh, the families have been patient with us, supported us. It has not been easy. How can you tell a team that you, you're going on, on a three-month uh, a, a bubble? I mean, which family will accept it? It's very difficult. But, you know, if you do the trouble, I think it will be worth it. Eh? It's, it's good. It's good. Uh, we must put the team in the Champions League uh, again this year. We must fight for for to be in the World Club World Cup at least this year, it's three teams. So you're hoping that you make the semi-finals and, and, and hopefully you can make the final. Then you know you're in, otherwise you're going to have to play that playoff. And, and probably that's one of the reasons why we, we really strengthen in the team. You, uh, because a lot of guys can say, ah, but why are you sign so many players? Uh, no, no, we have, uh, remember we have, we have an African uh, 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 adventure that we're pursuing, and not many people pursue that route. And we need ammunition, we need numbers. Uh, I know, coming from Morocco, landing on 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 on, on Monday, and 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 playing Wednesday in in Toyando, biggest experience. And then the next day you leave for Toyando, and you know how long does it take to go to Toyando when the, there's no airport. So we need numbers. For, for, for this thing, we need more players. We can't operate with a the, with the team when Tembazwan is injured or he's not playing well or Sirino is suspended. You know, Sirino with Nandi Becker uh, always have the story there. Uh, you don't want to be huffing and puffing. I mean, let's be honest now. We, we really had to use Kenneth, we had to use a promise, we had to use um, uh, Nico. Uh, Nico Lukuben, we had to use um, um, Kulisi. And, and Ali Menza came in handy for us. He, Ali Menza was fighting for us. And Lyle came, oh, came through, you know? So you must also understand that that is the challenge that we have. Uh, and we need to make numbers, not because you want numbers, not because you want names. Not, you, you, you have to have a personnel for, for the number of games you, you you are playing. And for the last four years, yes, I mean, that's still in the bubble now. So, and, and, and players are not getting any younger. So, and you know, when you do this, you know what's gonna happen. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna go through a turbulence a little bit. Many players don't know how we play because we play in a particular way. At Mamelodi Sundowns, for them to catch up and know how we move up front. The four players up front, they move easily anywhere, anyhow. When are you going to put Kapinga through this? When are you going to put uh, other players through this to understand and know? I don't have preseason. I only have, I think we have about 10 days, if I'm not mistaken, because because um, 
uh, Bafana Bafana comes in now uh, within this space. And we, give, we want to give them a, a big break and we have to go through COVID tests again. And we have to do um, tests for CAF, CAF ones, their own tests. And we have to do all the protocols and you need the players to do all these things. You can't, you cannot just start the season. Uh, PSL also wants their own things, you know? So it's not an easy one. So it's not a good break, but uh, you, you can't complain. And by the way, once we start, there's no training again. Every three days, games. But it's good because the competition will be very good this year. Because even the Soweto teams now are coming through now. So we're all going on this... Uh, on this marathon now. It's, it's going to be exciting this year. The last question, the coach just came back from training, so we need to release him soon. Uh, last question will be for Robin Duke, and then afterwards we'll wrap it up. Yeah. Thanks for protecting me, Lux. No problem, coach. Oh, yeah, it's Robin Duke, yeah, coach from Jerry Sun. Um, just on a lighter note, um, I was looking at the, my stats before. Um, when Sundowns, Lost to Bloomfontein Celtic in a TKO in Deben in 2012. Your next can was fired after that, and then I think you took over. Um, are you grateful to Celtic, you know, for for for, for beating Sandals then? Because you have achieved so much ever since then, coach. Are you saying that uh, Bloomfontein Celtics made me the coach? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, coach. You know, in, in some way. You know, it looked as that, that, you know, you got a job because of your honest can, you know, aspired because of you losing that final. Let me tell you, I had other opportunities for big teams also local at that time. Local. And I'm talking big teams. I had those opportunities. So I chose the sleeping giant. I chose the giant that I know that uh, uh, the president of the team uh, uh, has big appetite for 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 international football and uh, and 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 that's why i i accepted uh, uh, the offer and by the way i did not play a role in 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 johan Neskin's, uh, thing i was I, I i was five years out of psl i was at safa for five years so i did not play a role on coach Neskin's, uh, uh space uh, no, I did not go to the matches with a book and looking at the matches when Sundowns was playing. You know what coaches do when I, when the, the another coach is struggling, he goes to the games and the, and the TV is on him and everybody calls for him. No, I don't do that. I was in sabbatical. I wanted to take a year sabbatical, and my military Sundowns cut my sabbatical short because it was the third time the uh, the president of the club said, "Let's work together." And when, when the big profile person, business personality like that comes over and speaks to you, especially for the third time, you've got to also consider, and this is a big team. And, and uh, I cut my sabbatical short. I wanted to take a year or two, but I'm back. I've been talking about sabbatical. I'm here now. I caught the buck, so I can't stop.